MSUM student Wyatt Koskella had his own reasons for why he swore off Facebook. I feel better because I'm not always looking at all the negative stuff on Facebook. So it's just overall more positivity. And I think that's part of the reason why I did it too because it's just a bunch of negative stuff on there. The average American spends more than double the time per day on Facebook than other social media sites like Twitter or Snapchat. Another MSUM student, Andrew Boucher, isn't participating in the trend, but he does understand why some students are. People are choosing to be on Facebook social media less. I can't say that I've been one of those people at all. I think it's the new medium. I think it is a brand new marketing tool. It's a way to raise awareness and it's how unfortunately people are getting their news, I guess. There could be definitely a correlation between the length of time that you spend on social media and how it affects your mood. School officials have their reasons to why they think the trend swearing off Facebook has taken off. Most of the people I know who have sworn off Facebook for a period of time have done so much more recently because of the really divisive political atmosphere and some people just don't want that kind of toxicity <laughs> in their life. When your mood is already low or your anxiety is high and you're comparing yourself to what people put out there, I always say most of the time you're comparing your worst 1% of your day to their best 1%. Whether students do follow the trend to swear off Facebook, even if it's only for a short time, the social media site is still a big part of today's society. With photographer Leah Backstrom, James McCarty, Campus News.